Hey guys, in Friday's DIY, I showed you how to make some different tissue paper, room decor projects, and wall art pieces. Well, today I have one more for you. It is the confetti bowl. This bowl uses the decoupage or paper mache method, which is pretty easy, but fairly time consuming. For this project, you'll need a balloon, some glue or Mod Podge, and confetti. Let's get started. To make a confetti bowl, you'll of course need some confetti, so you can either cut your own or buy a bag from the store. Next, blow up a balloon and tie the end tight. This will determine the size of your bowl. You can either use Mod Podge, watered down glue, or paper mache paste to construct your bowl. Here I'm using a sponge brush to apply a thin even coat of Mod Podge to the top part of the balloon. And I'm only gonna go about a third of the way down. I'm applying the pieces of confetti one at a time. I know that that is time consuming, but it will definitely turn out better this way. Keep in mind that the smaller your pieces of confetti, the longer this bowl is going to take you because we're going to have to do at least six layers to get a nice solid bowl. Now my first layer is completely dry and I'm moving on to the second one. I have all of my pieces laid out pattern side up on the floor. You could also work at the table if you want to, but I am just going to work in small sections to make sure that I put another piece of tissue paper on top of all the ones I already have down. After completing layer number six, I let it dry for two full nights. I don't know that you have to let it dry that long, but it's a good idea to wait as long as you can. Now for the moment of truth. It's time to pop. Carefully peel away at the deflated balloon from the inside of your bowl and then you are going to trim any of the uneven edges. There should be a lot of just plain glue on top that you'll want to get rid of. And if you want to change the shape of any of the tissue paper, you can do that as well. My bowl held its shape really well. It's firm yet flexible and the inside is really smooth. This confetti bowl is a really unique piece of room decor and you can fill it with whatever you want. Here I have some bow crayons that I made inside and if you want to see the tutorial for that, go ahead and check out the link in the description box below. Don't feel limited to using just tissue paper. You can use fabric, buttons, candy wrappers, or anything else that you would like. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then please give it a thumbs up to let me know. And if you want to see my videos in your subscription box every single week, then please click subscribe. Also, if you want to follow me on social media, all of those links are in the description box below. This week I'm having two tutorials, as I told you, on Friday, so stick around for this coming Friday to see a soap making tutorial. Oh yeah. I hope you guys have a great rest of the day and I'll see you very soon. Bye. That was like, bye. <laughs> now I'm gonna make a mess. Ready, confetti. Such a mess. Oh man.